guys, I'm Chris from the Big Four of Late War, and today I'm going to be unboxing the British Starter Army. Let's take a look. Let's find the opening first. All right, we'll, we'll organize this a bit so we can actually see what's in here. All right, first things first, we've got our Start Here Guide. Start Here Guide is going to give you everything you need to know to help you build your new army, as well as telling you a little bit of information about the contents. We've got one very handy package that has your decals and your unit cards, complete A5 rulebook, as well as the core rules. In this little pamphlet here, this gives you everything you need to know to start playing Flames of War straight out of the box. Get the army deal, read this first, read this as well, start building your models and you are good to go. So, I realized looking at bits of paper was what you came for, so we wanted to look at them first. We'll chuck them off to the side. Let's grab Shermans. Lots and lots of Shermans and Churchills. So, in the box, you get one, two, three, four, five Sherman tanks. So you can build them as either Shermans or Fireflies. Um, these will be the core of your British armoured force. You get three Churchills. Now, straight out of the box in Fortress Europe, you're going to want to build them as just 75mm uh, six pounder Shermans. Later days, this also comes with the flamethrower versions and the breaching group tanks and all that sort of stuff. This is a very cool sprue. It does heaps of things. You're going to want more of them later. Next up, you need Stuarts. Stuarts are the fast, nippy reconnaissance tanks. You get three of these in the box. They're a perfect accompaniment to your Shermans. Between the Shermans and the Stuarts, that gives you a really nice core force. Um, while the Shermans are shooting up the tanks, the Stuarts are zipping around, shooting up infantry and annoying the flanks of other tanks. Next up, the really big heavy hitters. M10s. I've got four of them here, so you've got tracks and hulls. You can build the M10s as two different versions. One with the great big 17 pounder gun, which is the cool one with the big muzzle brake on the end, or as the 75 millimeter versions, which is somewhere on this frame that I can't see, over here I think. Build them as the big ones. Anti-tank, 14 I think, they'll slice through panthers and tigers, no worries. So you have another four of these. Now, every army needs reconnaissance. And universal carriers are the super cool reconnaissance in my book. Wouldn't you want to drive around in something that's slightly bigger than me and can zoom around the battlefield? Now you can build these as just normal universal carriers with a machine gun, or you can build them as the Wasp flamethrower versions. Um, you can never have too many flamethrowers in an army, I figure. Now, we've also got 25 pounders. You've got tanks, you've got more tanks, you've got some more tanks, you've got some reconnaissance, you've got some tank destroyers, you need some artillery. Nothing pins down enemy infantry and kills anti-tank guns faster than 25 pounder shells dropping on top of them. You've got a full battery of four of these. They're also great if you need them to do uh, defensive work. Dig them in on an objective, shoot the enemy tanks and infantry as they come at you. Also, bases and tank crews and stuff like that they're kind of last but not least infantry you've got to have the poor bloody infantry of the British Army nothing takes an objective or holds an objective like infantry you can't well you can have an army without them but it can be a lot more fun with them so here you've got a full strength rifle platoon or motor platoon so whatever you choose you can build it out of these two frames there you have it. You get all of this in your British late war starter force. From Shermans to M10s to infantry, you are not going to regret this great big pile of cool models. They are going to be the foundational building blocks of your army from day one to the end of late war. Definitely check it out. 
Um, I think it's so good that as part of the big four of late war, I'm gonna be taking all of this and building my army. Uh, head over to big4.flamesofwar.com to check out my progress. Um, hopefully I'll get it built nice and fast and can share some pictures of it all painted up with you guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,